Hey, what's up everyone? Sam here. So cannabis is a very interesting plant that's been misunderstood for many, many years. Recent reports say that around 40% of people under 25 have smoked cannabis at some point. I myself admit that I have tried it before, but it wasn't really my thing. However, cannabis is so much more than just a drug you use to get high. So in this video, I'll be showing you some very interesting facts about cannabis. And as always, I'd like to give a big shout out to viewers Avery Gage and Dark Slight for suggesting this video. Cannabis is nothing new. In fact, it's been around for thousands of years and has been used for various different things. It's been used to make clothes, robes, paper, and the seeds have even been used as a food source. It's also been used as medicine and, of course, as a mind-altering drug. The diversity of the cannabis plant is truly amazing, and unlike some plants that need very specific conditions to grow, cannabis is far less picky. This means it could be easily cultivated worldwide and produced in the masses. But why exactly should we want to produce an illegal drug worldwide. Well, you see, cannabis isn't just one type of plant with a few good benefits. It can be tweaked, modified to produce different strains. In theory, there could be thousands of different strains of cannabis all picking upon certain benefits. One strain that is very popular among cannabis smokers is called skunk. In reality, skunk is not actually a great example of what cannabis can do. It's a very messy strain cultivated by some drug dealers inside some dodgy house. It's loved by many for its strength and potent levels of THC, the chemical that produces the effect of being high. But skunk does have some not so nice side effects. Users can experience a rapid heart rate, decreased blood pressure, bloodshot eyes, paranoia, migraines and much more. Skunk can also worryingly set off schizophrenia. People with anti-cannabis views would usually be the first to point out all of these side effects, along with how it can also be used as a gateway drug to much harder and more dangerous stuff. And their point is perfectly valid. Skunk is by no means a prime example of what cannabis can do. The whole plant cannot be dismissed due to one strain. What about the medicinal benefits of cannabis? It's no secret anymore that cannabis can be hugely effective for many different conditions. To name a few, epilepsy, glycoma, cancer, anxiety, arthritis, Alzheimer's, and the list can go on and on. However, this doesn't mean that sufferers have to smoke and get high in order to help their condition. In the lab, the THC can be removed and the medicinal qualities can be enhanced. Then they can create it in a pill form and it's just like any other medicine. The users will never feel high and certainly will not feel like they just smoked the joint. We do need to start taking cannabis more seriously. We need to see it for what it is and not for what it represents. Because even still today, when people hear the word cannabis, they probably still think of some stone teenager staring at a blank wall laughing uncontrollably. But we do now know that it really is a gift that can help our healthcare dramatically worldwide, and that needs to be taken seriously. Do I believe we should legalize cannabis for the sole purpose so people can get high for fun? No, but do I believe we should legalize cannabis as a way to help or even cure medical conditions? 100% yes. But what are your thoughts on cannabis? Should it be legalized? If you'd like to add to the discussion, then go ahead and leave a comment in the comment box below. Once again, thank you for watching, and until next time, feed your mind.